We did this question with even a class today. It was not very friendly. And I agree with people. Students were really crying for the first semester. Uh, but after we did it, after we did it, I, I tried to know how the question was marked. It was marked at 8 times 2. It was 16 marks, 8 times 2. Then when we tried to allocate the marks, we could get 8 ticks without problems. So no matter how hard it is, no matter how hard it is, every question has things you can get without problems. So I want us to do this question, but at the end, you will realize there are things you, you have to get without problems. So I realized also this question has a lot of work in it. So what I will propose as we read the notes, let's capture any working which is necessary. We try to capture so that when we are done with the notes, at least we have something to back up. So note one, during the year, W disposed of its entire 80% shareholdings in C for cash. The shares had been acquired on 1st October 2017 for a cash consideration of 1056. Please underline that one, the 1056. When the fair value of the net assets of C was 980. The fair value of non-controlling interest at acquisition was 224. Please allow us to calculate goodwill on acquisition. Let us calculate goodwill on acquisition. So goodwill, goodwill. Let's calculate goodwill on acquisition. Goodwill on acquisition. Goodwill on acquisition. Goodwill on acquisition. So take the purchase consideration. The purchase consideration. Purchase consideration was 1056 in that note. It was 1056. Why the fair value? Fair value of NCI was 224. Can you add? Add the two. Add the two. What do you get? 1280. Then you less net assets. So net assets on the date of acquisition, check the same same note one. If we are together, the net assets you are seeing is how much? How much is the value of net assets? Yes, you can see 980 in that note one, good. So there is 980, meaning that goodwill Goodwill on acquisition was how much? 300. However, let's read note two, Usifunge. In note two, as we progress, they say, Goodwill calculated under the, under the fair value method was tested annually for impairment. After the first March 2021, Goodwill relating to C, had been impaired by 75%. A goodwill impairment charge has been included with administrative expenses. There is no problem. So less impairment. So impairment, impairment loss, 75% of 300. How much is 75% of 300? 
75 percent of 300 to 25. Therefore, net food will dispose. So an impaired, an impaired goodwill is forced because this is the subsidiary which was disposed. So the goodwill which was there was sold off. How much? 300 minus 225 should be 75. Should be 75. Very good. Then now, after that, you need, we can call this one working 1A, one working 1B, you need to come up with goodwill accounts so that we check if there was overall impairment for the remaining goodwill. Because this one was disposed, we need to check if there was impairment for the ones which remained. So, Goodwill accounts, go to non-current assets. Go to non-current assets. You check the value of goodwill. Balance brought down. Balance brought down. Balance brought down goodwill. If we are together, how much are you seeing? Yes, it is 152. I hope apart from other, others, we can see it. And an current asset, the second item up there. When we opened the year, goodwill was 152. Along the way, we disposed a subsidiary with goodwill of 75. So you say less disposed. Disposed goodwill. We disposed goodwill of 75, meaning that when we are closing, goodwill should be how much? 152 minus 75 is how much? How much is that? So, as one, an impaired is the same as the disposed goodwill. Sure, that is the goodwill which was not impaired, which was disposed of. People are saying 77. True, the unimpaired is the one which was disposed. Good. I skip one line. How much is the value of goodwill at the close of the year? When we were closing the year, what was the value of goodwill? Goodwill reduced to 32. So that reduction is the impairment for goodwill which remain. The ones which were not disposed also underwent impairment loss. So impairment, the balancing figure. Impairment loss, that is your balancing figure. How much? How much is that? 77 to 32? That is 5, 55, how much? 45. Yes, 45. So we will need it later. We will need it later. So how it stand by?
All right. Let's go to notes. We are just moving with the notes, collecting small, small evidence. Let's go to number three. The current value in the individual accounts of C as at the date of disposal are listed below. So these people disposed, when we sold this subsidiary, the subsidiary went with PP, went with the inventory, went with the receivables, went with the payables, went with the departments, went with the bank of data. So the net assets disposed, net assets disposed is 1220. Net assets disposed is 1220. No problem. Let's go to number four. Let's go to number four. Number four, the loss for the period from discontinued operations in the consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income relates to C and is analyzed as follows. So when we dispose this subsidiary, instead of gaining, we lost. So go back, and let's check. Check P and L. There is somewhere written discontinued operations. Can you check it, please? Discontinued operations, you can be able to see loss for the year from discontinued operations of 200. So they are breaking down how they arrived at the 200. So 200, check that note for. It was profit before tax of 48, less income tax of 16. Then there was now loss on disposal of 232, which gave us net loss of 200. Now, that note is very critical. Uh, in disposal, we always try to calculate gain or loss. Examiners gone ahead of us to give us the gain, the loss, sorry. They have calculated the loss. So I know from the many other questions, when you are given the loss, those people will deny you the proceeds, the amount at which the company was sold. So even here, they are not saying, they have given us the net assets disposed in note number three, and now they're telling us what they lost. So they will want us to calculate the proceeds on disposal. How much did they receive when they sold the subsidiary? So we will work backwards to determine the subsidiary was sold for how much. So that, that one should be our working. So say they are working two. Working number two. Working two. Gain. Uh, not gain. We are, we are certain it was a loss. I wanted to try to get stop loss, but it's a loss. So loss on disposal of C Limited. So how do you arrive at the loss? Loss on disposal, you start with proceeds. Proceeds on disposal. Proceeds on disposal. We don't know. They never provided. They already calculated for us. But you know, this one is going to be very critical for our cash flow because the amount you get when you dispose is like income. Actually, it goes to investing activities. So you must know how much the subsidiary was. So this one we were denied. But they gave us loss. So we have to work backwards to come back here. So this one will be our balancing figure. Write that. It will be our balancing figure. We shall work backwards to get it. So generally, how do we get loss or gain on disposal? You start with the process, then you say less, an impaired goodwill, an impaired goodwill disposed, an impaired goodwill disposed. That one we have calculated. Put it in the middle. We have calculated an impaired goodwill was 75 in our working 1A. An impaired goodwill was 75. Very good. Then you less net assets. Net assets disposed. I want to engage you there. 
What was the value of net assets on the date of disposal? On the date of disposal, how much was the net assets? I want to, just a small engagement there. How much was the net assets on the date of disposal? Someone, you to up or other to calculate, you just pick. On the date we are disposing, Mary, 12, 20. Someone else, one more. Mary says 12, 20. Alan, 980. Alan, 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 that was net assets on acquisition. Alan, that one was on acquisition. On the date of disposal, net assets was 12, 20. They are broken and down in that note number three. In note three, they are broken down. Aggregate, so Alan, I hope you are seen. 980 was on the date of acquisition. But on the date of disposal, they are broken those items to come to 1220. You knowing how it comes is what is important. I hope you have seen. Ah, yeah. Then uh, you can add this. Now, when you add those two, 75 plus 1220. This is 1295. 1295. Then you less the fair value, less fair value of NCI on the net of disposal. On the net of disposal, you subtract minority. Minority, because of the net assets, they were also interested. So you must know what was the net assets of minority on the date of disposal. You subtract from this. So that one calls for NCI. So skip like three lines, working three. NCI, NCI's net assets. On the date of disposal, we were not given. So you have to know what was the fair value of minority on the date the subsidiary was disposed. Adam, yes, they are net, net assets and the equity components. And when you take all the assets minus liabilities, those are equity. In cash flow, they present it that way. They will take for you the assets, they subtract liabilities. So assets minus liabilities is equity. So there is no problem examining as done. And in all the cash flows, all of them, okay, very good. All right, so NCI's net assets of the date of disposal. We were not given. So we have to calculate and subtract it back here. So you start by saying fair value on acquisition. What was the fair value of minority on the date of acquisition? I just want engagement. How much are you seeing? Yes, thank you everyone there, 224. Then, in the post-acquisition period, the net assets which the subsidiary will make in the post-acquisition, minority will give them 20% because parent was controlling, parent was controlling 80. So, our post-acquisition, post-acquisition net assets because I'm dealing with net assets. So this is 20% in brackets. Closing net assets on disposal is this one here, 1220. When the subsidiary was acquired, the net assets were 980. 
I hope I'm not confusing anybody. When we are disposing subsidiary, the net assets is 12 of 20 of the subsidiary. When subsidiary was acquired, you can recall the net assets were 98. So this company made this difference. Get 20% and check the answer. So that one should increase. Forty-eight top up less impairment. There was impairment in that subsidiary. Check your working one. Make reference to your working one. In that subsidiary, the subsidiary was impaired by two twenty-five. The seventy-five percent minority allowed to twenty percent. So. 225 by 20 is 45. Therefore, the net assets of noise makers on the date of acquisition should be this. So that one will be 224 plus 48 minus 45. 227. That is the minorities net assets on acquisition. That is what goes to the minority. So the interpretation is like in a group one of the they already want to find out like most questions. But here they are denying us. So fair value of NCI of the date of disposal was 227. So of the total, which goes to the parent minority, goes with this. So you take this minus that. What do you get? What do you get? Ten sixty-eight. So when you take the proceeds, when you take the proceeds up there, this minus this will give you a loss. The examiner said it was a loss. Check not for loss on disposal. Loss on disposal. Check not for. Loss on disposal not for two thirty two. Loss on disposal two thirty two. Check not for. So to get the proceeds which we were being denied, add backwards this plus this. But then for you. So huh? it is that plus that. I will find that. X. Minus this is equal to minus that. No, it is 232 minus 1068. Are you getting 836? Will it be 836? How many will be It comes to how much? What must the proceeds be here? So that this minus this is negative 232. I'm getting 836. And a new 1300 look minus this letter. Hey, people, up there should be. You take this minus this one here, assuming it is positive. You have taken long. Yes, 836. Oh, yes. Phil is using 1300. It is 836. 836 minus this to the back negative 232. 13, okay, 13. 13 minus, minus 1068 will give you positive 232. That is not correct. I hope everyone gets that so that we move. I mean, in case someone is having a problem, you say here is x. So x minus 1068 is equal to minus 232. So to get x, we decide to be plus. So it will be minus 232 plus 1068. Then you get it. Are 
Haya. Tunasonga mbele. We are just reading. So Let's go to note five. Let's go to note five. W Limited purchased 40% interest in associate for cash. The associate paid a dividend of 80 million in the year. So already in associate, we have to to your dividend. So already we have been given. But we need to be very cautious. Can you check that investment in other shares? If you take the beginning, then you remove the dividend, will it remain the closing? If it tallies, then we have no problem. Only dividends we want actually to go and take in the, in the cash flow. So to that effect, I want us to reconcile the uh, investment in other shares as working for investment, investment in other shares. Have that. Though we normally reconcile to get dividends, but here already we are being given the dividends. So the question is if we put that dividend there, will it reconcile? All right, so. Balance brought down, check associates and an uncurrent assets in the balance sheets. Associates in current assets in the balance sheets. So in the balance sheets, um, investment in associates at the beginning, if you are keen, you are seeing zero. There is nothing. Yes, it is zero. Then check P and L. For the year, how much profit were we given? Check the profit we were given during the year. How much? How much were we given? We were given 128 share of profit for value sheet, correct. We were given 128. Then, out of this profit, we were given dividends. Associates pay. When they pay you dividends, reduce the profit. So less dividends. These people pay dividends of 80, but Parrot will not take everything. Parrot will only take 40%. They'll only take 40% of the 80. That is, should be 32. So if you subtract this 32, closing investment should be 96 should be 96. Can you check whether the closing, skip one line, balance in other shit at the end, they are talking of how much? Investment in other shit at the end is 816. 816. So it means we injected more funds in other shit because we started with zero, during the year, profit was 128. Then they paid dividends of 80. And what they are paying, we are not taking everything. We can only take the percentage we have. So we took 32. Meaning the closing, closing should be 96. But examiner said, no, it is 816. It means we invested more funds in that company. So additional investment. That is the balance in figure. How much is that? That increase, that is a cash outflow, you will remind me. It is a cash outflow. 720. So that is a cash outflow of 720. So I'll capture all of them. I'll capture this in cash flow. I will also capture dividends. Those two. Those two. All right. 
Let's go to note number six. Let's go to note number six. In note six, they were saying, on 1st April 2021, W commenced the development expenditure on a product called Q. The product is expected to be launched in the year 2023. This out. Shilling 56 million, amortization on other intangible assets is included with the cost of sales. You know, you know, development expenditure is treated as an intangible asset. So they are saying there is an amortization of 56 million on intangible assets. So what we do, I know what they're trying to say. If you take intangibles beginning, then you subtract, you subtract the amortization of 56, will you get closing? I know it, it, you won't get, they want to, 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 to capture how much was the development expenditure cost, which is a cash outflow. So right there, intangible assets. Intangible assets. Intangible assets. So intangible assets, check the balance brought down. You will get it under non-current assets. So in that process at the beginning was 216. But they are saying there is amortization. So you less amortization. Amortization, they are saying how much? 56. So less 56. Meaning the closing should be how much? Closing should be 216 minus 56. It should be 160. But our table, Mr. Examiner, here is saying no. Closing is uh, 296. So this 296 is the development cost they incur. Because if we started with this, then we amortize this. Why is this not giving us the closing? It should give you the closing automatically. So the balancing figure is the development expenditure costs balancing figure, which is a cash outflow of how much? Of 136. It will be a cash outflow when we require it. Not next. I'm just trying to gather evidence. Eh? But this idea, it will make our work easy. So working number six, we are headed to node seven. Check node seven. There were no disposals of property, plant and equipment, the better, during the year on the sale of, during the year, except on the sale of C Limited. So except on C means, uh, the one C went with. So there was no any other. Depreciation for the year is 160 and is included in the cost of sales. No problem, we'll add back to remove it from there. So, fine, fine. W Limited revalued its property during the year. The applicable corporate tax rate is 30%, no problem. Part of the additions to property, plant and equipment during the year were imports made by W 
from Tanzanian supplier on 31st December 2021 for Tanzanian shillings uh, 54. The amount was paid in full on 28 February 2022. The Warden Note 8, parts of the additional property during the year were imports of, there were some PPE which, which came from Tanzania and they were purchased in 2021 for 5,400 Tanzanian shillings. This was paid in April 2022. So the exchange gain and losses are included in other operating income or expenses. Can you check p and L? How much are you seeing as those part of other income in the income and expenses? How much are you seeing? It is how much? They are saying it is included in other income and I don't know what. Check your P&L. Check P&L. I'm seeing um, 25. Check immediately after gross profit. There is other income, 25. I suspect that is the foreign exchange gain, but we can work it out. The one they can for, but that one I don't want to do it as a working. But just let, let, let's see. Exchange gain. Exchange gain. When we purchased this property, what was the exchange rates? So on purchase, on purchase, when was it purchased? Property was purchased on 31st December 2021, when the exchange rate was 24. So divide by 24 to get Kenya shillings. How much is that? How much is that? So that is 225. Then on payment, when we paid them, when we paid them, what was the exchange rate? Exchange rate when we paid was 27. So 54 by 27 comes to how much? 54 by 27, 200. So this is again, because if we could have paid, when we purchased, we could have paid Kenya shillings 225. We paid them later when the action rate was 27. So we paid them less. So there is again no 25. And that came, your email of America for P and L. So I don't think if it was necessary for us when to calculate because Shidani, I took you as a exactly with this last one. That's what can bring its head sometimes. I, I want us to reconcile PP accounts. I want us to reconcile PP accounts. I want us to reconcile PP accounts. Property plan and equipment. From balance brought down so that we get what was acquired.
So balance brought down for PP. I have to shortly. Uh, that's our done prayers shortly. PP balance brought down is 3088. 3088. Then C less subsidiary. Subsidiary went with the PP1840, check note three. 840 was disposed, subsidiary went with PP1840, check additional information number three. Then in that note number seven, it is called number seven, number nine. yes, there is depreciation. So less depreciation. Depreciation. Depreciation is 160. Tor. Then there was exchange gain on purchase of PPE. So that one definitely you will debit the asset account. So add exchange. Again, on purchase. When we purchased it, we gained 25. And finally, finally, read the last sentence in note 7. Last sentence in note 7. I think we are done with workings. W Limited revalued its property during the year. The applicable tax rate is 30%. So to get revaluation, other, other comprehensive income in the PL, go to other comprehensive income, check other comprehensive income. Other comprehensive income. You are seeing revaluation of how much? How much are you seeing? Yes, thank you. They are giving us 28. But I'm going to have a bracket. Net of the fund tax. Net of. Yeah, the operator said, but it is net. So gross it back to get the actual revaluation. So it is 28 divided by 0 0.7. Because tax is 30%. Tax was 30. So to gross back, you divide by 70%. So 28 divided by 0 0.7 will be 40. So revaluation, sorry. So add revaluation. Revaluation is 28 divided by 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is 70 percent because this is net. So gross it back. So 40 times 30, 12. 12, 40 minus 12 is 28. Yes. So revaluation is 40. So how much should PP be? So here to be sharp up and end up prayers, then we come back. Twenty one fifty three. Skip one line, carry down PP.
closing they are close to 2816. They are close to 2816. So this increase is the acquisition. Acquisition of how much students? Then now you we pray, you should also pray for this question. How much six six three as per yeah, so many people are no mark is getting six six three. I hope that is okay. Six six three. We will require this is the balancing figure. We are done with all the notes and all the workings, but when we come back. There are some which I want us to do outside the additional information, but these ones are enough for us to start. But I would want us to do taxation. So during the prayers, once you are done, check how taxation is done kindly so that when we apply it, we are okay. But after this working presentation will be very fast. Others you need to pick an eight. Presentation will be very fast. Thank you.
And I hope prayers we are done. If Adam is there, Adam confirm that you are done. Very good. So we kick off. Taxation. Nataka to find a tax. So taxation, you say balance brought down. My pants are there. So balance brought down. Balance brought down, you combine both deferred and current. So deferred, deferred is 120 at the beginning, plus current 740. I hope you are seeing the figures. Brought down, brought down. Tell me how much. Eight sixty for the year. For the year, check PRL. How much was the tax for the year? Check your PRL. Three twenty. I agree. But now this three twenty. Check note number four. Check note four. Check note four. In note number four, they say uh, that the loss for the period from discontinued operation, you know, discontinued operation is subsidiary to Meuza. Profit before tax was 48, income tax was 16. So before it was disposed, they are incurred a tax of 16. You have to add. You top up. So that one comes to three thirty six. Then subsidiary was disposed with tax. Less subsidiary. Subsidiary went with the tax what how much? I want to check whether you are seeing that. Subsidiary went with the tax of yeah, 48. Check the fact tax liability, not three. Not three. They went with the tax of 48. Tax of 48. So remove that one. That one went. So how much should we close with? How much is the closing? Closing should be. Closing should be, no, this one, this plus this minus this should be how much? Then we compare, Adam, what you are saying, we compare with that closing. So this plus this plus this should be how much, someone? 11.48. Skip one line, check what the examiner is saying. The examiner is saying that closing, the fund is 1.12. Plus current 376. How much? 
How much is that? Four eighty-eight. So tax has gone down. That decrease is what they paid. So pay. No way. We are wrong. Because remember, there was tax on revaluation. There was tax on revaluation. There was tax on revaluation. Remember, revaluation was 40 and they were taxing 30%. That one we have to capture. That was 12. So kindly adjust. There was tax on revaluation. That one we cannot escape. So tell me the figure, the adjusted figure. The adjusted will be how much? 1160. Then it drops. There was tax on revaluation, that is what they say. So we have to adjust. So 1160 dropped to 488. So they paid how much? How much was paid? 672. 672 paid. Paid. Balancing figure. Balancing figure. We are very, very, very much ready to do that question. But it's really working capital. Working capital na juani wakoba. Arako mchali ya kuna haja ufani yo waki. Mwenda kwanya na calculator. What is we find it to make our work easier? Working capital. Working capital. Working capital. I want you to give me inventory. He working with money from mchali. Mchali na unafanya na calculator. Receivables, then payables. I want us to check increase or decrease. So you will give me the balance has brought down. Balance brought down in 2020. What is 2020 2021? 2021. Give me those balances. The balances we have inventories. I hope you can see 1320 receivables, 832. Payables, 328. Then less subsidiary. Subsidiary went with inventory, check note three. Went with inventory work three or four. Yield at all. Receivables to 20. Payables, 80. So can you give me these figures? Let me put on my jacket. Meanwhile, when you package figures, I'll ask you to keep up with it. Then I just capture it. Okay. Okay.
So the answers, inventories, 10, wait, okay, which is which? Inventories, now 10, 16, inventories, 10, 16, then receivables, 6, 12, then payables, 248. Then the balancing figures will be increase or decrease. So these are the BFs, the balancing figures. So check balance carried down. Balance has carried down. Balances carried down. So balances carried down. Inventory nine forty four. Receivables nine twenty. Then payables two eighty eight. So we check increase or decrease. We check increase or decrease. So inventory moved from 1016 all the way to 944. That is a decrease of 72. Receivables 612 went to 920. Increase of 308. This one, 248 to 288, increase of, eh? this is an increase of 40. Please, these are working with my torso. I want to start presentation. Nani on anything before we start presentation. But now I will a semester on you here. Those people are not good. That question was not friendly. So if there is no concern, then right there, W group. Right there, W group, W group, consolidated statement of cash flow for the year ended. Yeah, and that when? But the first March 2022. So, I want to give them presentation. So, shillings are in millions. Shillings are in millions.
So we start with operating activities. Operating activities, you start with profit before tax. So, are you profit before tax? You can have a target straight. Like it doesn't want to make up an idea. Can you check PLL? How much is the profit before tax, which you can see? Profit before tax, which you can see? We can see, I'm seeing there what you are seeing. 1464. However, we see there's a problem. Check note four. Check note four. Before that subsidiary was disposed, they had a profit before tax of 48. So you top up. 48 is the profit which that company made before disposal. Fifteen zero four. First column, 1504, adjust for, adjust for depreciation. Depreciation was how much? It was given somewhere. Depreciation was given at a certain note, 160. That was not number seven. In note seven, we were given depreciation, 160. Bring impairment. This is where now I need you. Impairment we did somewhere. What was impairment? Mark, it is 1512, not 1504. Thank you. So this is 1512. How much was impairment lost on goodwill? Check working 1B, somewhere there. You are working 1B. What was the impairment on goodwill? So I need you here for, to facilitate me. Impairment on goodwill, I've run all those things. You're working 1B. Forty-five. Are people seeing forty-five? If yes, you are. No, Mark, not two twenty. Two twenty-five was the impairment of, of one acquisition, but on disposal, on the goodwill remaining in the books, check working one two. Working one is equal to Ramini. Goodwill on acquisition, then reconciliation of the entire goodwill. Mark, reconciliation of entire goodwill is yes. Yeah, correct. I uh, bring amortization. Amortization, we were given somewhere. Note number six. Check note number six, somewhere there. Check note six. Check note six, somewhere there. Check note six. 56. Yes. Add back. Ah, there is no asset which was disposed. If there was disposal, the director you gained on disposal the toy. Go back to PL. Go back to PL, everyone. Let's go back to the income statement where we have PBT, where we have profit before tax. So I told you the other time, in the other question, you go backwards. Check for any item which is not operation. Operations are four. Revenue, cost of sales, 
admin distribution. Any item which was captured prior to PBT, apart from those four, tour. Come and work work. Plus, remove it if it was attracted and back. So let's check from PBT climbing upwards. The first item which you can be able to see is share of profit of associates. Tour. So associates profit remove 128. That is total operating income. Climb up again. Finance costs. Finance costs, interest is not an operating expense. Add back, they are subtracted, so you add back. Climbing up, operating, uh, admin tick, distribution tick, other income. We don't want those ones. Other income, the only income you leave is revenue. So other income, 25, so up. Cost of sales tick, revenue tick, quisha. We are done with adjustment. That is how we do adjustment. So can you add for me from 15, 12, adjust all this, then you give me cash, cash flow before working capital changes. Cash flow before working capital changes. Tell me how much. I'm being given 1804. 1804. So that is cash flow before working capital changes. Bring working capital. Working capital. So working capital, we have analyzed them. And I still have them. Inventory was a decrease. Pull it from your working night, the last working. Decrease in inventory, we bought 72. That one we had only less. Decrease in stock. Decrease in inventory, we do what with it? We had only less. The less we had, we add. Yes, because decrease in stock means to Nausa stock. We have money. Next, receivables was an increase. Increase. In receivables, that is 308. Tor. Tor. That is an outflow. Payables increase. Forty. Add. That one means where will it be working? When a person like it will it be paid. Add from eighteen zero four adjust. That is cash generated from operations. Is of again as important. Those names are not very important. So from 1804, and just those three, what do you get?
1608. Cut three. To wind up. To wind up. Cut three to the third agape. I've rubbed it out. Tell me tax paid was how much? Cut was 1508. 672. So this minus this, give me on the second column, then you call it A. Nine thirty six. So bring here nine thirty six. Call it A. We are going to investing. You want to go to investing activities? So write down there investing activities. Investing activities. I hope we have most of its workings so that it doesn't bring us problems. So investing activities. Investing activities. To do investing students, listen to this if you're forgotten, go to non-current assets. And the to the exotic. Non-current assets, please. So all our eyes to non-current assets. All our eyes to non-current assets. So non-current assets, the first one is PPE. PPE we normally check for two things. How much did you receive when you disposed? Examiner said there was no disposal in this question. They said somewhere there, but there was acquisition. So we reconcile to capital acquisition. So it says acquisition of PPE. Please bring the figure. Bring the figure, you have it somewhere. Bring that figure. It was how much? PP. 663. And remember, that is cash outflow. I hope everyone sees where we're getting that. Then, so PPE measure, there was nothing. Then after PPE, goodwill. Goodwill was impairment. Ignore. Other intangibles, yes. Other intangibles, when a person will for development expenditure. So cash on development expenditure. Cash on development expenditure. How much was it? Please check where we did intangible asset reconciliation. Other than Asema 136. We should notice that our working number. Kama mtu na struggle kutafuta. Adan, that which you are saying working number five. So check working number five. 136. Out. That one we got. So from intangibles, that is what we got. Investment in associates, two things. One, we received dividends. So there was dividends from associates. 
I remember associate paid dividends of 80, then parent got 40. 32. So we received 32 from associate. Then in the same same associate, there was additional investment. So additional investment in associates. There is cash we paid to acquire more investment in associates. Associate was working number, I'm seeing 720 from Adam, but it was which working so that we can check if it is working for. Check working for. I hope everyone sees the 720. So this is cash outflow. Next item and an uncurrent assets. Uncurrent assets in Asia. It is over. It is over. So once you are done with the uncurrent assets, check for me two elements. One, subsidiary. Subsidiary is an investment. So when you dispose the subsidiary, the cash you receive, you bring it here. So write for me, net cash, net cash on disposal of C limited. C was disposed for how much? Shallow, are we considering exchange gain in PPE? Yes, to the add. Your 25 to Leongeza for PPE, shallow. Because the exchange gain was purely as a result of acquisition of PPE. So we did the 25, I recall. So, okay. How much net cash on disposal of C? How much did we dispose C for? What was the proceeds? We were not given, but we calculated. We were very smart to calculate it somewhere. I don't know which note. Can you check for me? It was disposed for how much? Other than A36, it was working number. Working number two. So check our working number two. It was disposed for 836. But check, did we dispose it with some cash? Come on to the other cash. That is why I'm using the one net. Come up with a cash with the piano. Check those items in note three. Check items in note three. If there is cash we give them, you subtract. Because of the complete 36, that will be able to pay can we ever change. So we sold it. Proceeds was 836. But in note 3, there was bank overdraft. So we never gave them cash. Instead, we were a day while they were leaving. So it means the subsidiary, come on the overdraft you earn. Because when you come up when it when you see at a certain price, then when you see a day, it means they need to now get to Nakata Kwanza. So it means the subsidiary was sold at this plus this, but they had to subtract overdraft because we are an EPR. So overdraft you add, cash you subtract. Master that. Cash you less, overdraft you add. Because we didn't know what This one comes from two, two what? This type of figure, the phase of figures. That plus that comes to 8.52. So that is the amount we sold subsidiary. We are done. Come up with the one interest with the letter of the one interest. Huh? No, interest are not like for investing. Interest is the end of financing. So give me this one.
Six thirty five. Huh? Six thirty five. Bring it here. Call it B. Financing. Financing activities. It is negative. So, so put it negative. To chop financing. Malaysia. Financing, all roads are leading to equity. And that's why equity and mostly the current liabilities up of. When any apples are financing, you go down there. So under equity, ordinary share capital beginning 800, closing 800, out of that share. So after that, we're going to get to the double, cash on issue of shares. 800 minus 800, nothing. There was no increase in shares, so nothing was given. Uh, after that, we have revaluation. Revaluation, what can I say? Akuna kitu na para when you revalue your assets, there is nothing. Do you get a point for that, Alan? The answer is no. There is no mark. I'm just putting it in case, just for your revision, for your responsibility. Otherwise, akuna mark ako pamitia. Ah, we don't have that money. Get zero zero. Then you get a tip. Ah, uh, revaluation. When you revalue your assets, no money you get until you sell that asset. So revaluation that was book and ignore. Retail profit. Retail profit, we should utilize it. We should utilize retail earnings to get dividends paid to holding company. So that you can a lot of issues come in before what what what. Dividends to holding company. Dividends to holding company. So dividends to holding. Holding, holding. What was the retained earnings at the beginning? Retained earnings at the beginning was 21.60. Profit for the year. Can you check PL down somewhere there? Return profit for the year attributable to the owners of the I don't know owners of the parent. Check and tell me how much. PL, check PL, profit attributable to holding company. How much are you capable of seeing? If you see that, we are good to go. Eight fifty-six. Yes, it is eight fifty-six. Can everyone try to see the eight fifty-six? Yeah. So it was eight fifty-six. So parent retail earnings consolidated is always for parent. This one at the beginning, during they got this. So can you add the two? Then compare with the closing. The decrease is dividends. Closing is 3016. So can you take this plus this minus that decrease? We get dividends. So we get dividends worth how much? Zero. I want a dividends. 2160. 856. 3016. Yeah, there is nothing. Mark, the mark of money, Alan. Alan, there is no mark there. If it is zero, there is no mark. All right. The next item after retained earnings is non controlling interest. So, non controlling also get dividends. Dividends to noisemakers. Noisemakers are to what? To value your working hour for each. They will give us lots of problems here for no reason. So I have MCI outside there. I think that should be our last working. That is the last working we are doing.
Hi. NCI brought down. NCI brought down. Where where is those brought down? So NCI brought down is six eighty. Higher. Then subsidiary was disposed. And when subsidiary was disposed, NCI had some share. So net assets of NCI disposed. Mukonayo. Somewhere. I don't know if now I don't know which working. Palito report and afuta. Somewhere we were looking for proceeds, then chini are you working? NCA to the calculator, I don't know we got working three, check working three. It was 277 or something seven, something, something seven. What was the net assets of NCI on the date of disposal to Moy? We got how much? The net assets of NCI on the date Mary to 27. Toa. You in the end. Uh, check for me for the year. Check total comprehensive income attributable to the minority in the profit account. Can you check total comprehensive? I think it should be total OCI. Total comprehensive income to noisemakers. And then you are saying 88. Let me see. Total comprehensive income attributable to owners. Then I'm controlling interest. 88. I hope you are seeing 88. PL commercial. So those are the things these people are supposed to claim. The woman on the side of it. Add them. Then we compare with the closing. How much do you get when you add? 541. Skip one line. Exactly, I say no. NCI at the end is 512. So it has decreased from 41 to 12. That is what they have been paid. Paid dividends. How much? Paid dividends. Or Paid dividends, 29, 29. So you come here and say dividends, noise makers, 29. Next, go to non-current liabilities. We are done with equity. We are done with equity. Non-current liabilities, we have long-term loans. At the beginning, the loan was 960. The end, the loan has gone to 688. What has happened? What has happened? What should be our narration? No, we cannot say outflow. What should be our, okay, it's outflow, but what should be our narration? What should we say? Somebody, I don't say a decrease in loan. <laughs> I agree it's a decrease, but what does it mean? Decrease in loan means what? Pain, yes. So loan repayment, loan repayment, the difference, get me the difference. That is 960. 960 minus 688. How much is this? Two seventy two. Next, if I tax to Limanizana, two seventy two. 
trade payables tulimalizana current tax tulimalizana kwisha once you are done with all those things bring the finance cost finance cost should come here so you say finance cost pay finance cost pay they pay how much in the finance cost to moja i can still see it on the operations 184 this one where is it i saw it here this one we added it back to rectify operations but it should go to the other side so that is 184 so get for me the total we are finishing in like five minutes at least come back to the next five minutes So what is our C? When you add the three, our C, our C, negative four eighty-five, four eighty-five negative. So that is C. So now give me the net cash flow. You proceed down there. Net cash flow. Net cash flow will be A plus B plus C. Tell me what you are getting. So net cash flow comes to negative. Now which is which? Alan negative one sixty four. Mark negative one eighty four. That's Apple. So other comrades to come in and clear the air. Which is which? I'm seeing different answers. 184. So I'm seeing people saying 184. So check yours. 184 negative. Then you say cash and cash equivalents brought down. So cash and cash equivalents go to your current assets. Go to your current assets. And the current assets. Cash and cash equivalent at the beginning was how much? Which you can see. How much is the cash and cash equivalent at the beginning? Which 344. Yes, it's 344. So if we are accurate, if you add 344 to this negative, it should give us the closing. So closing is cash and cash equivalents. Carried down, cash and cash equivalents carried down of 160. What about this one? Because our mark, yes, means 344. 344 minus 184, 160. So it's okay. It has reconciled. Very well. Now, Najua kuna watu wame, hiyo la sitting, lazima ilimiza wanafunzi properly. That one I can attest, based on the questions we are reading. Okay, if you compare this question with the one we did in the morning, compare and contrast, what can you say? 
if you were to compare this one and <laughs> what about the other one? Compare with the for April, the one we did. Which is which? The one we did in the morning. What was the But imagine. Uh, I was part of three marks with a part of the because you see, could you how this question for cash flow of our semester was marked? They were marked it at eight times two, it was 16 marks, so it was marked at eight times two. So when you check eight times two, let's try to mark this question, <laughs> you will realize. You realize you have to kill a kid. What are you mark one? Let's just mark and you see. Uh, he was a feature. So he was an anaya. Because they wanted you to top up this one. The position was straightforward. So you are to get this one. Uh, environment, that was a story. Amortization was straightforward. Um, Associates, yes, this one, you are to get this, this, this. Then here, working capital, you are to get all of them, the working capital. So, mpaka hapo, when you are going to mark, you are going to get it. Do you agree that up to here you are supposed to get, be honest, up to there? Was someone not supposed to get those things? <sighs> wow. Was someone not to get those things? Mark? <laughs> at, at least, I, to end up investing, investing, acquisition of PP, development, no? PP, our real story, apart. Investment upon net cash. This one, no, there was a lot of working. Investment you wanted to achieve Mungu. Then we come to financing. Financing, you were to get these two loan repayment and this one. Student was supposed to get those two. Then uh, this these ones are marked. This one and this one are always marked for those people who will post. So ideally, a, a student who has not struggled was to get one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Was to get twelve, but they only needed eight times two. So we call that one usually your turn. Your turn. Uh, the trick where answer na you ki ile tunafanyaka concurrently ili nifungua at least uh, what waone what is happening but the trick is to kena kwa mtiani hakuna kuanza na workings unaenda kwa ile unafanya hivi 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 si unapata hiyo kitu yote hiyo swali unapata a student who never panic na akasema liwe liwalo alipita hiyo swali yote yote because those which are marked were workable. They were workable very well. And they needed eight things. So there is no problem. Here's one of the part I don't. Don't put it to live in a little bit of me. I don't know what. There are a lot of stories there which are not even interesting. So now, uh, my intention was to stop at the second question. But I've realized. I can't. Reason being of two issues. We have not done a question for acquisition of a subsidiary. The two we have done, all of them are disposal. Though, and your disposal can do acquisition because the only difference is that where we were subtracting, now you add those inventory receivable. So, where we, it was disposed, now it is acquired. So, you, 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 you just add. Mark, hey, Mark, imagine, come on, in the acquisition, 
even our people have stopped at this. Do you know what is waiting for us ahead of the time remaining? EPS is waiting for us, full force, a full topic. Reconstruction, full topic. We cannot. <laughs> well. So I will squeeze. We do one more question in our next class. And the question we will do should be for acquisition. Then you remind me, we do it using the two methods. You know, we have not done direct method. So we go for the indirect, then we repeat the same question using direct method. And it must be acquisition. Then we will be safe at that point. So uh, let me get, get your question straight away so that we should know what we are doing next. Uh huh. In the cash flow query, yes. Which cash flow is this? During the year, Eurogroup acquired. That is acquisition. Right? For me, December 2021. December 2021. Question two. Question two. That is acquisition. You can even try. It becomes easier. So, Mark, but time and what is remaining cannot even allow attack logo it cannot even sustain so let's meet tomorrow i've already forwarded for you the notes on what we are doing tomorrow employee benefits so go through the notes i don't know at what time because i know you're very tired but you can just go through them at 2 a.m then we meet tomorrow we do that topic otherwise thank you so much bless me tomorrow god willing you can log out. Thank you, Alan.